video from my new house, new garage. If you want to see my new garage, check out my previous video. Uh, just some uh, kind of update of what's going on with the car, uh, the garage, why I hadn't uploaded in a long time. Anyway, welcome back guys. This is my new garage. This is my 2009 BMW 335i. Happy Memorial Day weekend everybody. Merka. Sorry if you don't live here. Not sorry. Um, anyway, so today we're going to talk about the cooling systems on these cars. Now, in particular one thing. It's no secret that BMW 335i's and any turbocharged BMW for that matter has a really big issue with running hot, you know, maybe not like hot per se, like it's actually overheating, but running hot, they have a lot of plastic components that can break because of heat damage. So this video we're going to talk about one thing you can do to just keep your car cool. So these cars use an electric water pump, so does the N55. Uh, the N52 does as well. Uh, they went back to a mechanical water pump on the B58, so if you're driving one of the new BMWs, uh, this will not apply. I'm not really sure how anything like this works with that. But um, So we're going to use MHD with uh, my Android device here to retune the car so that the cooling system, the water pump, works harder. Now I ran this last year on a sport cool setting. That's what I'm going to do now. Once it got cold, I went back to the, uh, the stock setting, and the reason I went back to that was because it does put more stress on the water pump to run it in a more aggressive setting. So we definitely don't want to do that when it's unnecessary, when it was cold, you know, it really wasn't. But now the temperatures are getting up into the 90s in the day, and I see my oil temp hitting, you know, really close to 250, and I don't want it to go beyond that. So we're going to do this. This helps keep the oil temp a bit cooler because the whole car is cooler. Now, I mean, we are targeting the coolant system, not the oil system, so, uh, it, you know, your coolant system, I think it usually runs at about uh, boiling temperature for water, about 212 Fahrenheit, 100 Celsius. Uh, this pushes it down about to 198-ish Fahrenheit, I don't know what that quite is in Celsius, maybe 95-ish, something like that, I, I don't know. Um, anyway, so yeah, let's go ahead, uh, let's get into it. What you're going to need for a car is... Uh, Android device, smartphone, tablet, what have you, you know, anything with Android on it. Uh, you're going to need your KD CAN cable with a USB OTG. I just dropped my phone, hopefully it didn't break the screen. Uh, you'll need both of these and um, you'll need your car obviously, so uh, let's go ahead and get right into the car and let's do this. It's a real quick process, it takes only about two minutes, so yeah, let's do that. Also, to help reduce the temperature and the heat inside the car, I did remove my engine cover. This makes a very, very slight difference. Uh, you really won't even notice it on the gauges or anything like that, but uh, it is full of insulation and uh, it, you know, it just obviously will help to have more air. I got rid of the cowl. That also uh, helps some. Uh, these are just minimal things you can do if you really want to reduce heat. I truly believe that reducing heat on these cars will increase your reliability over the long term. So those are just a few other things you can do to help with that. Alright, so at this point you're going to want to power up your smartphone or Android device and get ready to plug in. Now we're going to be using the MHD tuning app. Now I, I think there is something comparable in JV4. Uh, I think they call it Max Cool or something to that effect. Open up MHD, and you're going to choose Flash and MHD Map. You're going to want to turn off your radio and your uh, accessories just to make sure that you're not going to drain the battery. So I'm running current maps. I'm running Stage 2 Plus, so I'm going to go ahead and choose the map that I'm running, which is 93 Octane, 98 RON. And I'm going to choose... Um, XHP flashed automatic transmission because that's what I'm running, contacting the DME. Now we're going to choose, instead of map right, two minutes, we're going to go to options, verbal, exhaust verbal, etc. Choose that. And now we're going to go through here and we're going to say coolant target. Right now it says stock. There's going to be a bar and it has three positions, sport cool and track. So we're going to choose sport because I don't want to overwork it and I really don't want to have to replace my water pump too soon. Uh, it was This car actually, the water pump was replaced on it about 5,000 miles or so before I bought it, so I'm hoping that uh, 
with only about 25,000 miles on it, it should have quite a bit of life left in it. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to choose that, and now we're going to go back. And now we're going to go to map right and write it to the map. So uh, two minutes about, flashing the DME, it's connected. All right, success, turn off ignition, ECU status, normal operation. We're good to go, so let's disconnect all this. And now we start it up to make sure that everything works. So, um, first time I've started the car for today, so let's go ahead and see. I think I need new injectors soon. I get a little kind of rough idle for like two seconds when I first start the car, but as you can see, it's already fixed itself. It goes like, and then it's good after that. So I think I have an injector that's driven a little bit of fuel on the spark plug. I do have six index seven, so very likely. But uh, it seems as though we've had success here. So uh, you know, basically the way to check if it works is if it did it right, you need to plug back in. So you plug back into your car, have it close out MHD, and then reopen it. If it doesn't work right, you do that. Got my data logging came up automatically. I haven't really been doing as much data logging anymore. I used to data log every single drive. I mean, I may not actually take a log, but I would have my gauges displayed. I don't do that nearly as much as I used to. Anyway, you can go to flash an MHD map again. Same, same process as before. Go find the map you're in. Um, but we're not going to write a map. And now it says it's in sport, so we're not going to do anything with that. So we're going to back out of all of that. So it's, it's a success. So we are in sport mode. This should keep the cooling down a little bit and by default keep the oil a bit cooler. So uh, if you found this video useful, if you're interested in uh, keeping your BMW cooler, this is one thing you definitely need to check out doing. Uh, as I said, I truly believe that the sheer amount of heat that these cars produce contributes a lot of their reliability issues. So keeping it cooler should make it more reliable, actually. Uh, thank you for watching. Enjoy the video and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.